Hello friends, in the last session we did the project setup. Now in this session we are going to install model federation. So welcome, my name is Sachin. Uh, so let's jump into this. So first we'll see what is the agenda for today's uh, session. So the agenda, first we'll clean up all the codes from all the apps. Basically, if you can see in the last session we have created host app, cards app, you know, there are orders and the products app. So there are there is already you know too much of code which is not required for example this css we don't need this so we'll delete this we don't need this spec.ts file so we'll delete this uh, if i go to the ts file then there is a css so we'll have to remove this styles and we are good here and if i go to html file there is too much of garbage code for example these styles we don't need these styles we don't need all this basically uh, and even we don't need all this we don't need this app running and everything so we'll remove all all this basically till the end so we'll go here we'll remove this we'll add one div for example we'll put some is to tag and host app is running that's it we are done for the host app now we'll make the same exercise for other apps as well so we'll quickly go into the rest of the apps for example app app.css we don't need it spec.css we don't need it we'll go to app components we don't need this styles we save it and probably what we can do here we can just or we can do this can do this image and all so we'll remove all this and we'll just keep this pan basically and we'll just keep the router outlet so hope you all know what is router outlet and all and I'll put here again, again H2 H2 and that's it we'll keep this and probably I'll just copy this and uh, what I'll do I'll go to the third app that is orders app I'll go to app I'll delete this CSS I'll delete the where is the spec component not sure but yeah sorry i think i'm here then i'll remove the spec.ts and it opens the card by default so here is the ts we don't need this we save this we go to html to a control v and we are good here we will go to the products app quickly and we'll clean up uh, CSS we don't need it then again it opens the same then we'll go remove then it opens the same go to the TS we'll remove the CSS and in HTML we'll clean up we'll just put this because why i'm putting a title because that property is already been there in the app component so that's it we have cleaned all the code from the existing apps so i'll go to the host app uh, so we have done with the clean up the code now we'll run the apps basically so cd bizarre ngs which app we want to run probably host app so now if you can see uh, this is running now we can go localist see here the host app is running and we are good here now the next task in our agenda is install the bootstrap for styling and designing okay so that you know we have the consistent look and feel so what I'll do, I'll again clear and pm install bootstrap. 
and it seems the bootstrap is installed we can confirm that we can go to package.json and we can see the bootstrap is installed now we have to go to angular.json file and we have to see <coughs> the styles and scripts to the styles we have to add the bootstrap styles so uh, for now i have taken here styles we have to add this to styles and to scripts we have to add this scripts script path basically from the node modules once you save this now we can check basically we can go to again our src app app component.ts sorry to html here we have uh, and suppose if you want to see like you know uh, for now i'll just add a button uh, class btn and btn primary button name is test for now if i save this if i run this and if i go to the ui and if i you can see here it's the button is already been here and if you want we can confirm we can put another success and it should generate a green button so if you can see here it's green if you can put danger it should be red you can see here and if you want to see uh, about if you are not sure how to make use of the bootstrap you can go to bootswatch.com okay from here at least you will get some idea and you can select any theme for example i'm selecting this thing okay and if you want to create a navbar you can simply click here you know you'll get the entire code and you can just copy and paste it there wherever required these are the styles for buttons and you know you get the code for everything okay for example so you'll find everything for table the forms the radio buttons the navs uh, suppose if i go for any cards okay for example this card so i'll go here i'll copy this card okay and simply i go to my code and if i paste it here if i save it and if i go to the ui you can see here this card is getting displayed here in the header you can add anything um, this is for testing it's our header and if you want to put footer as well you can put div class and you can card footer okay and to footer basically you can again have your um, h4 i'll put like you know um, <coughs> whatever like you know uh, demo or whatever and if you can see if i save this if i go here you can see here footer header now the card is primary uh, we can make it a success it will, it will become a green okay a text white uh, so this way is uh, basically I, I just want to go over the uh, bootstrap but this way you can at least get you know uh, how to make use of the bootstrap if you are not sure like you know then you can go over this bootswatch.com you can select and you will be able to get some code from here through which we, you can test in your application basically so i'll remove this because we don't need this we just wanted to test our application so we have now uh, added the bootstrap now next agenda for today task is and the main agenda is install model federation so our main uh, thing will gonna start here so for example first we'll start with the host app so again i just clear this and <clears throat> we'll add the model federation now ng add at the rate angular architects slash module federation for which project sorry for which project we want to add we want to add for host app and which project which port we are going to assign that is 5000 okay if I enter it will add the module federation to host app basically
so it's asking like would you like to proceed yes so it's installing package so now as it installed if you can see here in the host app okay to src it has added the bootstrap.ts file uh, there are additional few files for webconfig.js webprodconfig.js so we'll go over these files uh, probably in the uh, upcoming lectures but these are the files it has added and it has updated the angular json package.json so if uh, we can go uh, we have done for host app and we can do the same exercise for rest all apps so i'll just copy this and uh, so the project now we are done with the host then probably we'll add the cards app then we have to give the port we'll give the 4000 this is for cards and we'll do we'll create another one cd and paste it here the third project project is orders app happen happen port will give four five thousand four thousand will give three thousand here will enter and probably will it will again ask basically what it says basically it's something is wrong right it should be hyphen hyphen port 4000 normal product cards app port is 4000 it's installing It has added for orders app as well. Now we'll add for one for again. Port probably will give six thousand now. And the app name that we want to give is products app. So here we have given the cards so cards is done if you can see in the cards it has added the web pack config and if i go to the orders it has added the web pack config and the products also let's check for products i think it's done we can see it has added the web pack dot config file so we have installed successfully webpack config for all the apps host cards orders products okay so install model federation we are done with so you can see these are the commands npm install bootstrap in angular.json file under the script tag we have added this bundle min.js file under the style tag we have added the css and we have added these commands basically ng add model federation for host cards product and the last one is uh, order sap uh, so this is how like you know in the package.json if we can go now and we'll see see here the model federation is added that's it for today and in the next lecture we'll configure the actual webpack 5 model federation and thank you everyone